Hello everybody, what's new in your life? I hope that everything is fine and I'm a Russian man who brings value through my own experiences and I want to move to America and I want to learn English through watching videos. My English is not super pretty well of understanding listening skills. I can speak maybe a bit, uh, but not really nice sometimes. And uh, we will learn today vocabulary from an idiot abroad. Idiot. Idiot abroad. I don't know how to correct it. I did, he did. I know that uh, we have the idiot by Fyodor Dostoevsky. Dostoevsky. It is our Russian writer, author, and uh, we will learn more about China th from one man who is from Manchester, and uh, he has Manchester accent. Yes, and uh, let's dive into it. Okay, uh, let's start it. <laughs> By the way, I'm a Russian uh, voice actor and I do voices on my Russian channel. If you want to subscribe to this channel, you can subscribe. And also on final and screen, you will find my Russian channel. The last 20 seconds of this video. Okay, let's join it. Let's dive into this video. <laughs> the seven wonders of the world. Seven wonders. Christ the Redeemer. The Taj Mahal. Taj Mahal. The Great Pyramids. Truly man's greatest achievements. But there's one man who sees them differently. If that was on my road, the council would be on it. They'd go, get that down. It's a death trap. <laughs> Carl Pilkington. It's like a pylon. <laughs> I don't understand why are why are they laughing, but okay, it is funny vibe. <laughs> nice, it's like a pizza. I don't know the politically correct term. Moron, I think. He is a round, empty headed, chimp like, mank moron. Chimp -like. Buffoon, idiot. Is that normal? Are these a friend? He did. Okay. We've often described him as being like some kind of real life Homer Simpson. Homer is small minded. <laughs> real life Homer Simpson. <laughs> but at, at his core, a good person. And lovable. Absolutely lovable. Like, <laughs> It's like a game of Jenga that's got out of hand. I can't get enough of him. Is everyone going to be wearing this? He's a typical little Englander and he doesn't like going out of his comfort zone. Bollocks are squashed. I just think that it'd be amazing to send him around the world. What we'd like to see is him experience other cultures, other peoples, and see if in any way we can change his outlook on the world. <laughs> I've been to many exotic places. I genuinely think travel uh, broadens the mind. I want him to hate it. <laughs> I want him to hate every minute of it for my own amusement. Nothing is funnier than Carl in a corner being poked by a stick. I am that stick. And now I have the mic. I am that stick. Of Sky behind me. So epic. This is one of the funniest, most expensive practical jokes I've ever done. And it's going to be great. Just let me go home. Oh, I'm so excited. An idiot abroad. Alright? Yeah. I'm alright, yeah. Okay, let's do some... Uh, some... Some expectations. What will be next? Let's guess, maybe, what we'll find. He will go to China. It means that he maybe will will ride on specific trolley, trolley with a man, a Raja, or I don't know what's the name of it. It is when one man does uh, like a running with this thing, like a da -da 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 running to this side. Maybe he will find it. Maybe he will go to the this great wall <laughs> built by Trump, and uh, maybe he will do, he will do also Shaolin Shaolin monk practices maybe he will try some food from asia maybe he will try to speak chinese too and uh, eat some food of uh, like korean food uh, that uh, like dog food i mean that uh, dog dog really not hot dog hot uh, dog doggy hot doggy okay let's go what are we doing today some expectations and uh, in final when video will end, I will try to say, is it true or not, what we've seen. Just around. You look nervous, you look uneasy. Oh, I am a bit, yeah, it's not normal, is it? What? What is it? You're asking me how my day is, and a room full of people who I don't know. Yeah? Well, you're going to get to know them. 
You're going to get to know them really well. What, everywhere I go, these lot are coming, are they? Yeah. Well, they've got to. They've got to film it. Otherwise, you'd be by yourself and we wouldn't see it on the telly. Right, Carl. <laughs> I'm very jealous of your trip here, Carl, to the mighty Great Wall of China. Well, you say that, but how come oh, I'm yes. going and you're not doing any? Well, because um, we're executive producers. Yeah, we're busy. We've got other stuff going on. Mm. See, out of all the places, this is the place that I'm worried about the most. Why? Just the way they live, the different. What, Chinese people? They just wreck everything. They, they make everything weird. That's what I'm worried about. To you, on this. I don't to understand you. what you mean. Everything, chicken. Why is it orange in Chinatown? <laughs> <laughs> Why is it orange? He's orange, <laughs> orange uh, ball. <laughs> he has fucking orange head. Yes, and uh, also about him, he's really like this uh, Homer Simpson. And also, I want to say about Chinese. I worked as a doorman in the hotel luxury hotel of Saint Petersburg. As a doorman, I worked, and I was uh, communicating with Chinese. And Chinese don't understand English so pretty well. And Chinese, they do a uh, much of noodles. I remember one, uh, one day when they were sitting like shamans in a lobby and they were cooking noodles, uh, and. Uh, this smell, it it really smells. It is like a you smell like he was speaking in the English uh, language, uh, English language lesson, and uh, it was really like I want to cry because of the smell of shit, of noodles. Okay, let's go watching. Continue our watching about China. <laughs> Just the slightest thing. The chicken is orange. <laughs> Eat anything. You know what I mean? Octopus. Toad. <laughs> he just made that one up! No, say, say if I go over there... Toad? I have a bit of toad. I go, do you know what? It's quite nice, Frocken toad. Nice and chicken. Yeah. It's going to be pretty tough to get a bit of grilled toad yeah. in this country. It could make me sort of wish for stuff that I can no longer get hold of. Mm. Have you been listening to what he's been saying there? Yeah. That he's scared to go to China in case he gets a taste for toad. Toad. And then he comes back and he can't get toad. So I just wanted to check that you heard that. Yeah. The way they write... The, the letters are weird. Their alphabet's not like ours. Theirs are like, exactly. like someone testing out a biro. Everything's... <laughs> there's, there's no logic. Biro. One moment, need to Google what is it to understand the biro. Biro... A kind of ballpoint pen. Biro pen, okay. Biro. Ballpoint pen, also known as biro or ball pen. I don't understand it correct. Buyer means that lottery, like this. T -t 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 -t. Jig to anything that they do. <laughs> there is. There is. Listen, of course there's a logic everything. to it. The way they read a book, it's all the other way around. From back to front, instead of from front to back and up and down. And <laughs> yes, exactly. That we've exactly. Done, they've gone, right, we're going to do it weirder. <laughs> That's how it comes across. Well, some would say that they did it first. Their civilization beat ours by, by many, many hundreds of years. But anyway. Right. Off you go. See you when you get back. Yeah. Yeah. He's preparing Chinese dictionary and then flying. I think is he pretending that he's idiot or an idiot or is it uh, real like it? It is uh, is it show or is it uh, his real life that we maybe can find him uh, like an idiot? I don't think that he's an idiot. He makes uh, things funny. Beijing, China. Well, a really nice temple. It's grey, isn't it? Is today a cloudy day or is this pollution? It's not worth having this in <laughs> HD, <laughs> is it? <laughs> Nothing looks crisp. Everything's sort of hazy. Some sort of Kate Bush video or something. Kate Bush. Does anyone speak English? Does he want to give us a lift? English? Do you want to give us a ride? Okay. Yes, yeah, nobody yeah. speaks English. Almost. Oh, nice. It is almost what I meant. N but not fully. He's on bicycle. But I remember one moment, uh, one person with uh, like uh, two sticks, two wooden sticks, and he can carry with his own running. Not recycling. 
Right, it doesn't seem to work when you smile at people. Nothing, nothing, blank. Yes, exactly, exactly. I want to say that uh, when you smile to Chinese, they uh, almost not smile to you back. They are like a so a bit of poker face mean and brick like ish. Yes, brick means uh, like a brick of uh, house. So I don't know smiling mean smiling here. I mean, if they don't understand my language and they don't understand my expressions, I don't know what I've got to communicate with. All right? Nothing, nothing, I've got nothing then. Nothing. I don't think I've ever felt this lost. Even in Wales. See what I mean here, though, about things not being normal? You know, I get off a plane all sort of achy and that, jet lagged. I thought, I know, I'll have a massage, that'll be nice. Massage? Massage? Hi. I'm never going to get to where I'm going, I haven't been to bed yet. It is nice, though, to be fair. Amen. That isn't... That really isn't pretty. pretty. I have never ever been in China. <laughs> oh, jeez. He's killing him. Psychopath. Fucking <laughs> hell. I mean, what was that a massage? I don't know. Or was it just being mugged? <laughs> <laughs> mugged? What is... <laughs> mugged. What is mugged? Mugged, attack and rob in a public place. Make faces especially silly. <laughs> Once before an audience of uh, and camera, okay. Well, I'm just trying to find the hotel that Ricky and Steve has sorted out for me. Um, I'm not expecting that much if I'm honest with you. Mm. I've got a room, beautiful, uh, beautiful hotel. Nice. It's compact, isn't it? Inside, yes. inside it looks like. Uh, like maybe a Russian restaurant, no, a Russian, Georgian restaurant. Cozy. In Russia. Feels Chinesey. Yeah, it is. <laughs> Those slippers, they're mine. Mm hmm. Quite Chinese, aren't they? Behind the cloth, you have a TV. Any English? Really, Soviet Union, communist thing. No, only Chinese. <laughs> okay, thanks. To... I like this touch. Suzanne wants a fish, so I'll have to let her know that I've got a couple. I mean, that is for sort of company, isn't it? It's not, a, it's not some sort of appetizer, that, is it? Appetizer? That's handy. Ah, you know like, how I said uh, that Chinese I always come something. up with inventions, They're quite futuristic with their ideas. It's all right, isn't it? Little radio with headlights. I don't know when you'd need that. I mean, the, the whole beauty of radio is, you know, you can listen to it in the dark. I mean, if that was on the Dragon's Den, you'd, you'd say I'm out, wouldn't you? Nice masks. Wow, really Something beautiful. A... I, I didn't see travel videos before, really. When I do something, I watch only business videos. I like to watch business videos and that's all, but about traveling, I didn't see before. Wander about, I think, because there's nothing else to do, so I might as well, you know, at least try and see a bit of the place, mix with the locals. Um, you know, that's what Ricky and Steve want, isn't it? They want, they want to see how I can handle myself with some foreigners. Carl. Oh, he Carl. learns Carl. how to write Carl. Chinese Carl. symbols. Yeah. Carl. 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 Not Carla, uh. just Carl. 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 Oh, Carl. 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 No. No, no. No. Carl. No. Carl. 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 Nurse Carl is uh, is shit. Uh, no, it is defecation, defecation things, like in a proper proper language. Like uh, Jackie, one my viewer, wrote to me that testicles is a way of speaking in a medical form of balls, yes, and uh, or uh, like uh, penis things, and uh, it is a way of medical things, and uh, Kal in Russian language, it is uh, if you will say Kal, uh, it means uh, like defecations. Shakespeare. 
Okay. Yeah, it smells more Chinesey now, doesn't it? Sort of sweet and sour. Good, isn't it? Is that dead? Yeah, that's dead, isn't it? Some... Are they dead? Are they toads? So I don't get it. Are they alive in that bag? It looks like... Uh, <laughs> French's. French food. Why aren't they legging it? He's got like a same bag full of toads. He rips them out, cuts their head off, sticks them in another bin bag. Jesus. I don't even know what that he, is. He does it uh, in real life. Like uh, they are alive and he he makes their skin like uh, from within. I mean, it looks like a load of condoms in German. <laughs> condoms. In water or something. I mean, it's weird how he's got it sat there as if that's meant to tempt you in. Well, the idea was, you know, that I'd, I'd nip out and get a little snack because Ricky and Steve said, yeah, try everything out, you know, do what the locals do, but there's no way I'm eating this stuff. Really, it looks like a Thailand or maybe a Korean thing. I, I thought that China is more about like a city of like New York more. New Yorkish uh, East East city. But no, China. It is not city. It is country, C country like New York, New York like New York City. But it looks like K Korean and Thailand. So oh, Jesus Christ, who is it on the right? Is it uh, Lisgard, like Basilisk from Harry Potter? Well, they've got custard creams on the stick as well at the end. Just anything on a stick. Whatever you want on a stick. <laughs> I see this. Uh, I didn't see this before. I, I just don't understand why they're <laughs> eating all this. I mean, at home, restaurants will get closed down for having a cockroach in the kitchen. Cockroach. Yeah. Oh, I know what is cockroaches, and I've seen them a lot because I was uh, living in dormitory of Russian University. Here is a starter. I didn't know it'd be like this. I didn't think it'd be this mental, really, in the food department. There's a woman over there just tucking in on a bunch of scorpions. <laughs> okay, like she's just having like a bit of a chicken leg. Not a problem. Just just shoving them in the face. <laughs> she looks at it before she puts it in her mouth. Like, oh yeah, which bit will I have first? The head or the arse? I mean, as she's eating one off one stick, she's looking at the other stick. She can't get enough of them. Her eyes, it's like the donuts to her. She's looking at it, she's going, oh, look at that it's one. It's like donuts. No, that one looks nice. You see, I don't know where it stops. Where's the line between food and insect? If she gets up in the morning, there's a spider in the bath. What does she do? Oh, good, I'll leave the croissant for tomorrow. I'll eat that now. A uh, nice, by the way, expression and uh, phrase. Like, where the line, where's the line between food and insect? interesting like uh, specific type of uh, English language I, I a phrase phrase in English sentence type eggs I see oh god what sort of egg is that so it's a fetus inside an egg a fetus w what is it is it egg that was uh, like a uh, vomited or uh, vo vo vomit inside of egg or what now i understand why in, why mouth of chinese people when i was, was working at hotel i remember was communicating uh, communicating with chinese a bit because they don't understand english they understand gestures and uh, google translate and their uh, mouth was uh, so stinky and so, like, please don't uh, do not do sign to me. I don't know why, any. Just for people watching who don't know, he's with us, you know, helping drive the bus and what have you. He seems like a normal bloke. I mean, eating a fetus. Not even waiting for the thing to be born and to live a bit and then eat it. I mean, a fetus. Only been here for a bit. I'm running out of these. I've got three more packets left. Well, you know, the weird thing is, I'm, I'm the freak here, aren't I? Everyone else is eating that. I'm eating these. I'm the odd one out. I had my 
named on. That says Carl. Nice. It looks like a smile and uh, like a symbol of Rorschach. Test is. Test of Rorschach. Do you know who is Rorschach? Rorschach, it is when you on a psychotherapist psychotherapist room and you look at look at specific symbols and you guess what is it could be that way could be that way I don't know it's one or the other could be that way let's face it I don't know could be any way I'm sure if you you know if you're Chinese and you're watching this you know if I've got it the right way up well, there you go that's that says Carl I mean, I haven't got Susanna gift yet. I could just give her this and say, yeah, it says Suzanne that. She wouldn't know. Well, I'm here to see the, the Great Wall, aren't I? You know, one of the wonders of the world, but I'm, I'm just not in the mood, honestly. I'm still knackered. I'm still jet-lagged. Jet-lagged. Just, just the weirdness of Ah, China. he... He has a uh, feeling of uh, of after uh, airplane. Yes, he does kind of dizziness. You know, that tires you out on its own. It's out there. It's like one o'clock in the morning at home. Oh, I've got a message. <laughs> Hello, Carl, mate. It's Stephen here. Um, listen, I've uh, got a little treat arranged for you today. I know that you're fascinated by the strange, the weird, the esoteric, and obviously one of the big parts of Chinese culture is fortune telling. Um, so we've arranged for you to go and see a fortune teller, get some predictions about your future, my friend. Fortune teller, wow. All right, enjoy. Do people really believe that here? I mean, are, are people taking kids in and saying to him, right, here's my kid, What's his future going to be like? Because if his life is going to be a load of shite anyway, end it. Do him a <laughs> favour. But then it doesn't always work like that. That's what I mean with fate. I didn't do that well at school. I left with a, an E in history. So say if my dad knew that, he'd go, right, get the brick, and that'd be the end of it. Whereas, look, I've done all right. I've got, I've got a job and pay me way in life. I have got a bit of a problem with this. By the way, this kind of greeting, it is more Japanese greeting. I found it like Japanese when I was uh, when I was working at Total. They were doing communicating with this, it is kind of respect, but about Chinese I didn't know. A mate has sent me it of this dumb. I'm not happy about it really. I sort of think I'm better off not knowing. If something's bad's gonna happen, I prefer it just to happen without having a warning. Time, time I was born. Palm pilot. I didn't expect him to have a palm pilot. Like futuristic. Do you know who Bruce Springsteen is? He's got Bru the same birth date as me. I don't know what you're talking about. I'm concentrating on calculating your future. All right. <sighs> it is dubbed sound. You have to pay attention to your health because you got some sort of heart problem. Oh, here we go. What sort of heart problem? Something to do with your heart blood vessel. It's weird that, because my dad had a problem with his heart, and they say it runs in the family. So is it going to kill me then? 90%. 90 90%? Mm. But maybe we can change it. Although you have some Only health donate problem, us. we're going to do a ceremony for you. But you do need to write a confession about what you did wrong. Something I did wrong. Something I did wrong in the past. Mm. Wrong. Good one. OK. You need to write three confessions on the three pieces of paper. All right. When nice I lived looking. in the other flat, there was a fellow who used to live in it called Bruce, and he used to get his post, and I'd open it. It was his old flat. I kept getting posts for him years after he'd moved out. See, it's meant to be bad, that, isn't it? 
Carl Grimshaw had put putty in his hair and he had to have his head shaved. That's a bit tight, wasn't it? And he had a funny shaped head, so it looked really bad. I'll put that down. Carl Grimshaw for, for put, putting putty in his hair. I worked at this bloke's shop called Bob. I was his best paper boy. So I'd collate all my papers, get them all, get them all ready, stick them in my bag. When he wasn't looking, I'd just sort of take a Mars bar, slip it up my sleeve, off I go. So every day, seven a week for about two years. A lot of Mars bars, I know that, that's why it's on here. It's always been playing on my mind, that, because I've since found out that shop doesn't make that much money from delivering papers. Oh, yeah. This is a healing process. I know yeah. it. I know it. I know this. I know this process. I know. I know. I know. Yes, I. I've done it. I've done it when I was uh, at two thousand seventeen or eighteen. Two thousand. 2017, I've done it, too, and I was in a school of active people in university. It is our like a specific up, upsell, almost upsell but free, free upsell program, like a free program, uh, up up school, up up study program for people who are active in in university who does management of things and who do organization of different events and uh, we does it on our live training and uh, our self self growth training we does kind of uh, psychological work inside of us it is only like a bullshit I, I don't want to say that this kind of uh, really truthful thing, but uh, it makes you believe in it. And when you believe, then you, then you change your life. Everything's going to be fine. The other two papers, one needs to be put on top of a mountain. The other one needs to be put in the sea. It will help you to cleanse your soul. Brilliant. Thanks a lot. Mm. 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 Uh, just, just give us a second. <laughs> it, it is kind of not maybe so truthful information. I don't know. I'm I, I have an agnosticism to this. And uh, maybe it is truthful information. Like you should uh, go to mountain, rise uh, to the top, like uh, you're on the nose of this thing. And uh, second, you should uh, go to God of Pacedon and find something, Aquaman or something, okay. Just give us a sec. Just give us a sec. Toilet. Mm. Me. Have you seen this? Have you seen the things? There's no doors or anything. As soon as you open the door, you could just get a full view of someone. I mean, oh, if it was Jesus. here. Really? It's more understandable, isn't it? Because you'd be sat here and at least people come in and you'd go, sort of go, I'm in this one. But it's a bit weird to just sort of wander in and... Really? I mean, they've made this bit, why not just finish it off and put a door on it? They've done the hard bit. A couple of hinges and a door. And there's no toilet paper. What did they do here? Did they just pull up the pants and walk off? Is that, is that, is that what you do? I think it is... Uh... Yes, it is maybe truthful, and uh, they really have these types of toilets, not everywhere, somewhere. In Russia we have them too, but uh, not like uh, in every place. It is like uh, you can go to the most, uh, like, uh, most unlivable place, and you will find almost the same, like old Soviet thing, and... Uh, also, I remember I was in uh, I was in army, not like I was uh, doing army thing. I was recruiting and something. I was in army to train soldiers for psychological work because I am kind. I have uh, upper psychological degree, and uh, we worked with them. We does we did trainings 
and uh, in army we had the same toilets with opened cabins. I'm, I'm not here to say they should be using toilet paper, it's not right. If that's not what they do, that's not what they do, but it's just, I didn't know that. I didn't think China was going to be like this, I thought it was going to be more... Like I said, I thought it was where they'd made the iPod. I think I've got the wrong place, because this, this ain't a place where they need an iPod. Have a toilet roll first. I mean, it's weird, because whenever you buy stuff like that, toilet roll rollers and stuff, it says, made in China. Why aren't they fucking using them, then? That's odd, isn't it? So he's got to leave the house, he's got to go, do I feel like one today? I might do, I've had a bit of a dicky belly, I best get my seat. Everyone who's is walking past knows he's going to have a shit at some point today. I wouldn't like that. It is kind of sometimes hard to understand his accent, but I try it. Thanks for subtitles. Do you know like how when I go into a public toilet you like to nip in with a coin and open the door? Yeah, well, you couldn't do that here because right. there's, there's no doors on the toilets. <laughs> they were filming some stuff like on this street, just with like traffic yeah. and stuff. I said, I'm just nipping in here. Walked in, was greeted by two fellas squatting. <laughs> there were chefs from the place on the corner, so that's, that's reassuring. Oh, no. Honest to God, one of them was on the phone taking an order. It was, it was really. <laughs> I've never seen anything like it. I don't think I could ever get used to that. You need to have your own space when doing that, and they're just there. One's on the phone, the other one's just sort of looking round. That's unbelievable. Yeah. Oh, I mean, I don't know what people watching Sky are going to do with the information. Chinese people have a shit with no door while taking an order for food. Well, he looked like he was sort of saying, I'll have it ready in, like, about five minutes. Oh, no, give me ten. Like, he, he yeah, forgot well, I'm, never, I'm never going to order a number two, I'll tell you that. Or, or a King Poo chicken. <laughs> Yeah. Okay, new day, new possibilities and opportunities. Yeah, well, I'm seeing the Great Wall today, aren't I? Um, Ricky and Steve just said, get down to the bus depot, uh, where there's loads of coaches and that, which, you know, I'm, I'm not looking forward to this. Pilkington, Pilkington. You know what I mean? Getting on a bus full of tourists with a fella stood at the front, yapping on, you know, with loads of history facts and just loads of stuff that you're never going to remember. Is he an English bus? English tour? Do you not understand? Ricky and Steve just said, come here. Really? It looks like another country. <laughs> yes, I mean that uh, it is like not European, not American, not Russian. It is another world, really. Look at this, it is a different thing. I want, I want to visit China one day, but God, they don't understand. They don't understand English. Need to learn Chinese. Okay, no need to be like so God man and need to understand it and uh, maybe to learn Chinese. But I don't want to learn Chinese because they are in in English. We have many of funny people. They are laughing. They are smiling. But Chinese, they sometimes don't smile. All people who visit Russia. Chinese people who visit Russia, they don't smile, and I don't, don't know why. Even we, Russians, we smile better. Sorry. Sorry. Thanks a lot. Hello. Hey, I went to Changcheng, very good. Mao Zedong said that. Ah, but Mao Zedong, Mao Zedong, Zhong Qi Yi Sheng, he didn't come to Changcheng. Ah, this sentence was said at what time? It's a bit of a pointless exercise, really. It's pointless. Uh, Four armed soldiers stuck on here with a daft hat on, not understanding what's going on. I mean, this woman's friendly enough, but she's, even she's sort of blanking me now. Covid. Yes, they do this. They really do this. Really, I want to say that they sometimes speed, they do the sounds of... <laughs> sounds of uh, spitting and is disgusting it means not like a soup it is not super disgusting when you do this uh, like uh, once a week yes once a week you can like afford it <laughs> sometimes but uh, they do this uh, frequently like uh, 30 times a day i remember i was standing 
at front doors of hotel and one Chinese appeared and started to, to smoke and do this kind of stuff a lot or, or really like 40 times a day and uh, I remember they were smoking and they smoke a lot too and they don't they don't uh, throw they don't throw their cigarettes in a trash can they throw them on the road it is kind of Jesus, so nasty the fellow behind me is coughing his guts up I thought I was putting on a waterproof coat in case it rained I need it just for on this bus <laughs> Why did they do I think that? that it is voiceover I think it is voiceover look listen again it rained I need it just for on this bus it is voiceover Why did they do that? Yes, they do this, but it is voiceover. Oh, someone is Yawni on the ground. Here. <laughs> There's the wall. <laughs> I can't see it now anyway, so it'll be a surprise for me. How long does it take to get there? Badaling, the Great Wall of China. <laughs> Maybe I will be there I one like day. The post office on OAP, I will. Under the world. I wonder the world. Interesting. Look at everyone pushing and shoving. I don't understand pushing and towing with this phrase. It was heavily restored in both the 1950s and 1980s. It looks like simple... No, yes, I understand that it is architectural thing, but it looks like uh, only road. Road, it is like a bridge. Really, I imagine myself uh, walking there and it is like a bridge, that's all, nothing else. It is funny to communicate with someone. I didn't know that. Because I think that life is uh, not about architecture and uh, something else. Yes, architecture is our history and uh, history is people. But uh, I think that uh, the most interesting thing in life it is communication with other people. That's why I learned English, by the way. But not even old bricks. Am I missing something here? So the old stuff's gone, hasn't it, really? And then it doesn't count. It shouldn't be a wonder then. You can't just build something on it and still, you know, get all the tourists in when it's not what it says on the tin. Screw them on. What I'm looking at is basically a wimpy home. Wimpy home? You know, you can see it for miles. It goes on for miles over the hills and everything. But so does the M6. Do you know what I mean? M6. You can see that for miles. And you go, great, and that does a job. You can drive on that. It looks like a Pandaria in the World of Warcraft game. Got bears in here. Mm -hmm. Really, like a zoo. Though? It's almost like they know that the wall isn't that good. <laughs> but what else can we give them? We've charged them like seven quid to get in to see an old wall. Well, it's not an old wall, it's from the 1980s. I've got a mate who's got some bears. I mean, stick them down at the bottom. There you are. It's just like an entertainment thing. Look at him stood up. I think that uh, if Chinese greatest wall I imagine Chinese greatest uh, wall appeared at New York City and uh, then it will be stores and entertaining it will be like a new Manhattan thing and uh, they will make uh, entertainment from it but on video we see that this kind of road long road evolution the drivers getting involved chucking it food because he's, he's not into apple is he I've seen what he likes eating if that was some sort of squid with a tumour on its head, he'd be tucking into it. He's not into fruit. To be honest, I fancy getting in there and getting a mouthful. It's the first normal food I've seen since I've been here. You have one new message. Hello, mate. Steve Merchant here. How are you doing? Um, I heard that you went to see the Great Wall of China today. Um, I'm sure you enjoyed it. And actually, Ricky and I want you to see more of it. Uh, in fact, we'd like you to see all of the Great Wall. Literally all of it. We want you to travel the entire length of the wall. <laughs> so, enjoy it. See ya. Nice cat. What's the point of that? It is panda.
Yeah, I'm just, just a bit annoyed today because, you know, I thought I'd seen the Great Wall of China, which, being honest with you, it's, it's not the Great Wall. It's, it's an all right wall. It's the all right wall of China. But, <laughs> right. you know, I thought I'd seen it. And then Steve calls up with some bright idea saying, oh, I want you to see more of it. In fact, I want you to see all of it. It's just stupid. You have one new message. Oh, come on, mate. Come on. Always be in contact. You're not on holiday. You've still got other business to attend to. You know the rules. Give us a call. Oh, one more place. Like uh, it is Black Gate. Are you having a laugh? This wow. isn't the Great Wall, is it? You kidding me? <laughs> I mean, I like the it's way like no a stronghold crusader game. Well, then why would they be? This is the original wall, isn't it? Or is it? I, d I don't know. Is it just badly done? This is pretty shit, isn't it? You're meant to be able to see it from the moon, aren't you? The Great Wall. Would you want to? Neil Armstrong getting his binoculars out. Fucking okay, no, hell, have you seen it from up here, Buzz? Jesus. The fortune teller told me that, you know, I had to get rid of one of my sins on a mountain. <laughs> so I might as well do it whilst I'm up here. That was the one about Carl Grimshaw getting put in his air. But, you know, it's worth doing, isn't it? It means I'm not going to have a heart attack. I'm not going to have a heart attack. Well, I've been travelling for three days. I'm a, I've walked miles. And let's face it, there's only so much time you can look at anything. And the only reason I've, I've come to this bit of the wall is because Steve said that there's a little village close by and, you know, he knows someone who's going to sort me some dinner out. Neo? Yeah. Yeah. Are you all right? Yeah. <laughs> He's a big lad. Um, just, just, a, just a little. Jesus, I don't like. Uh, I don't know why. No, 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 no. I, I don't want to say it. I'm not a racist. <laughs> but these things kind of. Their faces look uh, so boring sometimes. When, look, look at European and look at Chinese, they look different. And uh, it is only maybe my habit, my habit, I have a habit that all people, even they are boring, they seem like a boring, not uh, like, a, or maybe if they have a poker face, they seem like poker face. But they, when Chinese does a poker face, they look like a like people who are upset with something look at left face it's kind of really upsetful i will i will make it bigger look really like uh, something but right person is more less upsetfulness little little bit little bit of not not big oh, oh. no they seem like nice people I mean, I can tell that, just uh, even... I'm gonna say sorry and uh, excuse me to people who watch me from maybe East countries. It is only like my my habit inside of my mind. It is like a seeing a leprechaun. Yes, uh, when you look at leprechaun, it will be kind of unusual to you. And you don't have a habit uh, like... Uh, you don't see this every day. No, I can't speak their language and stuff. Got some food for me. It's nice, but... It's just a bit awkward if it's something I don't like, isn't it? Because I can't... You know, you can have... You can use your hands to say certain things, but what can you do if it's something I don't like? I can't sort of make a lie up. What is that? What is that? Right, forget it. <laughs> forget it. It's fucking hell, they're massive toads. Yeah, it's toads in a carrier bag. Oh, I looked at the wrong time. I didn't really want to look, but when I turned around, it looked like she was having a wrestle with one. And I heard, like, <laughs> so I'm guessing the toad wasn't winning. 
And then I've been told it tastes like chicken, so I should just eat it and think, yeah, it's chicken, it's chicken. It's just nice chicken. Why did she have to cave its head in out here? Why couldn't she just do it inside somewhere and then I'd eat it? Tell me after. All right, yeah, I'll look in a minute. Unless they knew we were coming, couldn't they have just got something normal? Why didn't you say to him, no, look, is it all right if I bring Carl round? Cook him something? Yeah, yeah, of course you can, yeah. What does he like to eat? Does he like toad? Just surely, I mean, I know you don't know me that well, but you know me enough that I've, I've never said to you, do you know what, I'd love a bit of toad. I've never said that to you. You could have just nipped it in the bud there and then gone, ah, oh, he's not a fan of that. He's not, he doesn't like it. They're waving me over. <sighs> It's, it's like a murder scene, look. Toad, bit of Toad's head there. Ah, do. Oh, look murder at this. Scene. Oh, jeez, it looks like an alien. Chicken, chicken. Food. Just, just a little bit, because I'm not very really? good with these. Chipsticks. And uh, really, I want to say that this is uh, really new food. Maybe need to try it one day. I don't eat uh, fatty food, like, I mean, fat, grilled. I eat only boiled, vaporized means that on a steam, yes, or something like the steam, yes. I eat food, I eat healthy food. And uh, I want to try food of different nations, it will be maybe interesting how did they, how they cook it, but uh, I don't want to try it uh, in a way of, how to say it correct, in a way of grilled or something. He's better than me. Uh. Maybe frogs, boiled co frogs, I will eat them. Really, because I tried to eat French legs, French frog legs. I remember them. It was uh, in 2009. Yes, my dad and mom, they divorced also. And uh, they, in those times, they, uh, they brought to me frogs not to me but for our family and uh, we ate them it is kind of chickenish that just looks like noodles <laughs> she's like mama mm. Mm. nice mm. lots of that mm. no i love it love it mm. i want to try this greeny oh, thing i'll just chew in chew on i'm gonna make I think, I think it is. Is it show or what? Toad was weird. I I think that this show showable thing. I don't. Uh, yes, it is. It looks believable. It looks ra really like believable acting game, but uh, it looks like a reality in some way. But I think that it is um, show. Um, you didn't eat toad. I had a little bit of toad. How do you know? Like a uh, chicken. No, it's just chicken. This woman yes, exactly, was forcing exactly. it to me. She was saying, "Oh, eat it, eat mm. it." <laughs> oh, oh, not fun. Every time I swallowed it, it was coming back up. It was like it was still alive, and the legs were still kicking itself out of my head. <laughs> like vomiting. Right, no more. It reminds me one uh, TV show I bet you will from MTV. Do you see this? What's he making then? Not a toilet door, I know that much. Hello? What are you, what are you making? What is this? Coffin. Coffin? Coffin? Is this for someone local? <coughs> this lady here. It's for this lady. She looks pretty healthy. <laughs> it's better to make it now because when you're young, you prepare those things. When you're old, you won't be able to organize this. But maybe precious seeing this every day when you leave your house. Not the way it looks. I think it's a nice looking coffin as coffins go. But I don't want to be reminded that I'm going to die. Not every day. <laughs> I'm not scared of death. I'm not worried about it. <laughs> All right. <laughs> nice Maybe black you can help humor. Me sending the coffin. <laughs> I don't know. Is it show or is it real? If it is real, Jesus Christ. Because I know how 
all shows works. Shows are like a prepared things, almost everything. Like 80% of show is prepared, are prepared. And uh, it is funny, if it is real. I mean, my flight isn't big enough to have something like this hanging around. I haven't got any outside space. So I'd have to have a parking permit for this. So I couldn't, I couldn't be doing this at home. But there's something good about it, because as you get older, you know, she's in her 60s. <laughs> it's a nice little project, isn't it? She's nice allotment. little project. She's probably sorted out. She doesn't have to worry about that. The house is probably paid for. And you need something to do to keep you going. If you haven't got any little projects, that's when you die. So, in a way... Nice philosophy. It's just something that when she goes to bed at night, she's got a little to-do list in her head. Oh, coffee needs to be varnished. I'll have to sort that out. Because there's not that much else around here, is there? To keep your mind busy. Yes, he's gone off now. He's having his lunch. Really, really. Need to do always new things to... To improve yourself. Right now I do like a learning English. You does you learning culture. And uh, need always improving yourself. You left me here doing this. For legs. I remember... It reminds me one uh, staircase in Odessa. Odessa it is a Ukrainian city. And uh, I forgot what's name of it in Odessa was, but it reminds me of this big staircase, really like 100 or more st steps. More, more, more. So big, 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 like you can walk 50 minutes. One new message. Hello, Carmate. Stephen here. I uh, just want to leave you a quick message. We've sorted something out for you. Um, one of the great elements of Chinese culture. Very popular, of course, in the UK in the 70s. We've arranged for you to see some Kung Fu. Kung Fu? Kung Fu. Oh. Yeah. Enjoy it. Kung Fu. I didn't think that he will see Kung Fu for? do Kung Fu. Wushu Shaolin. Ah, Shaolin. Okay. Wow. Well, they walk. I can do this too, but uh, this I can't. Violent, isn't it? yeah. It's pretty impressive the way everyone's remembered the kit. It was never like this for me at school. About 25 minutes was just spent with all the kids trying to find a pair of shorts out of lost property because no one ever remembered to bring the kit. So it was more like a Trini and Susanna than a PE lesson. We'd all be sort of going, are these your type? Do you want to wear these? I'll wear them. Just, it wasn't taken seriously. The PE teacher wasn't a proper PE teacher. He did geography when he wasn't doing PE. What is PE? One moment. PE mini. Physical education. Ah, okay. Oh, the fat kids. Leo, how are you? Yeah. Welcome to Shaolin. And where the original Kung Fu coming from. Oh, he's you speaking English. To see the Kung Fu training. Oh. Yeah. This is the Kung Fu in English language. Kung Fu in Russian language. And he speaks like Kung Fu. The metal. All right. And they were going to put another put. throat. Throat. Even I use my finger, just have a little touch. All right. Touch. Yeah, just tell me. You don't have to do that. Yeah. And you will have a very big shock on yeah, the body. Yeah, this. Oh, what? Joy. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? That's got to hurt, though, hasn't it? I think it is show, really, it is show, it is, yes, maybe they do this, but they will not send him to this uh, funny stuff, like uh, he uh, should do this, but it's funny, mate. I'll see you outside hotel, about sort of half four, quarter to five. Four a.m., okay? Four a.m. Four in the morning. I wake up daily at four thirty. Is he having a laugh? I can't tell, they're hard to read. Right, well, that's good, isn't it? 
You know, I've been walking the wall for the last few days, <laughs> aching all over, and now he Best wants to, to smile. Get up at four in the morning to do some kung fu. It's nice and relaxing, isn't it? <laughs> he just went. Oh. oh. I. Where did he hit it? He hit it there, didn't he? No. Oh. Um. It is show. It is really show because I understand that these sounds, it is sounds of voiceover. Maybe he does it. Maybe he does. But after that was post production that made it funnier. True. True. <sighs> Dun, 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 dun. Oh, for fuck's sake. You are late. In two minutes, downstairs. Oh, he changed his you know, clothes. Joking, was he when he said he was going to come round at four? He was just having, having a bit of fun with me. A nice start to the day, moon's still out. Yeah, the thing is, I don't know what power I've got. That's the thing. If I start wrestling with him, I don't know how strong I am. I might do some damage. By accident. Because I don't go about punching people and stuff, so I don't know how hard I can hit. I might, I might really hurt him. Say if I'm just a proper mugger. Yeah, I, I'm walking right. down the street, right? Mm. I look at you. I'm he's going got this way, quid. yes. Yeah, hang on. You stop right, me. Hang on a minute. Yeah, yeah, just get back a bit. So so I, I'm walking down the street and mm. I think this fella looks like he's he's got a few quid. Mm. And I'd go, I'd go, I'd go. Excuse me, mate, you haven't got the time on you, have you? Listen, give us your money. Oh. Ah, all right, mm. give us your money. <laughs> give me oh, your money. Right, yeah, yeah. What the happened? Yeah, yeah, I know, yeah, I got it the first time. Come on, go! Right. Quickly, faster! Come on, come on! Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. Mm, mm, mm. Go! Mm, mm, Quick! Mm, mm, mm. Fucking twerk. They will not do this with... Um, with trees. Yes, I maybe look right now really like a so old, uh, old lady, like 70 years old lady who does like, oh no, it is not like a true, but uh, they respect, I think, trees. He doesn't know what my health is. At no point since I've been here has he gone, no, Carl, you know, it's a serious issue. Have you got any health problems? He's always pushing a little bit more. He loves giving pain out. He's not a Buddhist, is he? He's a lunatic. Do it. Do it. A lunatic. Like right. a frog. Right. What am I doing? <laughs> Seriously, what is going on here? <laughs> okay, Carl, I'll give you a challenge. What sort of challenge? Ah! What's the other challenge? This glass balloon. I'm going to throw the needle from this way to get this balloon. You're going to throw a needle through the glass? Yes. Hit the balloon. Yes. Hole in glass. Yes. So you're gonna. Hey, hang on a minute. Right. One. Two. No way. Jesus. I'm impressed with that. You want to have a try? Here we go. Quiet, please. Quiet, please. I have <laughs> a phobia of. Uh, <laughs> of needles and sharp objects. Acnophobia or something like this. <laughs> no way. Sorry about that. I'm not cut out for Kung Fu, I know that much. That shouldn't hurt, should it? Just having a cup of tea. <sighs> with all these aches and pains and that, you know, Ricky and Steve have sorted me out with a Chinese massage, which isn't like them, that. Get the socks off. <laughs> That's how it starts, isn't it? We can ask, yes? Ask people, like, uh, get the socks off if you have a questionable 
intonation, then it is asking, yes? Asking. You are having a laugh. Come on now. Oh wow. Can you that? Is that normal? <laughs> Stay back here. Boy. Right, that's that's hot now. That's mental. Right, that's hot. That's hot. Fucking <laughs> hell. What is she doing? What is she doing? I've seen massages on the telly. You don't normally have to have a fire extinguisher on standby when you're having a fucking Fire ex extinguisher. What is this doing? Traditional Chinese massage. But what? why? Tell me why, though. Why is this traditional Chinese massage? I think it relaxes. No, muscles. it doesn't relax me. So what does it do? What? Why is she setting fire to me? What good is it doing me? I want don't to try it. just stand there saying it's traditional. It's traditional. It's what they do here. It's a delicacy. What is she doing? When I've gloves on it is fire, new experience. I've associated with having a massage. Yeah, I can feel it. I can feel it. I might as well have walked in there. Ah! I've been greeted by Edward Scissorhands. Edward Scissorhands? Right, I felt that. Put it out. Put it out, please. It's not a good sort of combination, that, really. Having something done like that with a woman who can't understand me. This leg's fine, tell her. This leg is... They have... Uh, with a woman who can't understand me. This look. leg's fine. They it's have out, two please. different operators, good, so cameramans. Look, one person is on the left, one person is here. Really? Having something done like that with a woman who can't understand me. This leg's fine, tell her. This leg is is great. I just want this one doing, then we can go. <laughs> ah, that's hot now. Maybe she's just a, a frustrated magician. <laughs> ah! Couldn't get a gig doing magic ends up doing back rubs and she's come up with an idea with having gloves that are on fire. Ah! I, I screamed my head off, didn't I? Because it was... And I'm not messing either for the cameras, because I don't really do that. It really hurt. Ah! What was that bleeping sound? Fire alarm. <laughs> fire alarm I've travelled miles, haven't I? And this is the end of it, is it? I thought, I mean, I thought you meant to save the best till last, but what is this? Bloody hell. Bloody hell. Bloody hell. Well, that's where it ends, isn't it? I mean, I haven't got another message from Steve saying, right, get your snorkel out. You still haven't seen it all. And this definitely isn't you, is it? And they've still got Andy Andy working on it, it sounds of things. Yeah, it doesn't feel like a wonder of the world. <laughs> Just this bit. I liked it up on the hills where nobody was, but you got a fella down there selling hot dogs. They've built a bit of a conservatory on it over there. Bloke flogging photographs. And them lot banging. It's non-stop. I don't get it though. How come? I mean, that's this isn't protecting anything, is it? Because if the enemy was coming down there, come across there, buy hot dog, and then they want to get over it. Oh my god, take your shoes and socks off. It's not even that deep there. You can just wander around it. So what is it protecting? Yes, exactly. They can go through this part it's and it will be crossed. I've got to get rid of. Feels really sensitive and emotional. There's an old... Moment. Chinese proverb by this Mao fella. Mao fella. Says, a toad in a well only gets to see some of the sky. And if the yeah. toad came up, he'd see more of the world. Which, you know, is a bit like me in a way. I've, I've seen more of the world just from doing this. I don't know if it's made me a better person or not. But he's saying it is. Full he's, Again, let's listen again. It is toad in a, a well. Well, it is a specific place, like when you can find water. Which you know is a bit like me in a way. Oh, there's a toad in a well. A toad in a well. Only gets to see some of the sky. Only gets to see some of the sky. Only part of it. And if the toad came up. You'd see more of the world. If Toad will go out, then she will see more. 
which, you know, is a bit like me in a way. I've, I've seen more of the world just from doing this. I don't know if it's made me a better person or not. Ah, like, uh, go away from, um, from the same things in our life. Don't repeat the same things all over again. You need to try another things and look from another perspective. What he's saying it is, he's saying, if you get out of the well and see the bigger picture, it's good for you, but I'd say it isn't. And the thing is, it's not even worth getting out and seeing more sky here because of all the pollution. I don't uh, like his, uh, like, attitude to things. It is kind of uh, unpositive. Yes, maybe it is positive, but it is kind of uh, snobby thing. And uh, I prefer don't do this too. Don't do. And uh, I think that need to be more like a positive and open-minded to things. But it is funny. It is funny. It is like a funny journal. And definitely if you're a toad, I won't get out of any old way. Because they'll grab you and cut your head off and eat you. Yes. N nice quote. Last quote about that sound wheel. It is nice uh, ending. I want to say that uh, maybe in last we will find something. Yes, it is nice ending and uh, it is like uh, emotional graphs. Do you know how to create a show, good show that will be nice? How to end nice show? It is like a uh, every show has kind of sinusoidal thing, mood. Like a uh, funny, no funny, funny, no funny, funny, no funny, and. Uh, in final, need to make it more funnier. If it was no funny, it should be more funny. Like this. Yes, no funny, funny. A bit. And then it will be like a good show, because it is finally with a good note. And if it is not about good note, like it was break up or something, need to make last scene funny, really funny. And then need to make it more sadly. And it will be a good show too, because you understand that, oh, really? It makes people think about something. It makes people like uh, do contrasting. And it is nice. Nice ending. And about this show, this show is interesting. And my prediction was about Shaolin, about that uh, nobody is speaking in uh, this place. Also, he tried some food, like Korean food. And uh, it was my guess. And uh, it. Uh, it appeared and also about uh, his experience it was really interesting to know that he was in this kind of trolley taxi taxi well uh, b b bike bike uh, thing and uh, it was funny to watch this girl who was eating eating this insects yes line between insects and uh, normal food also about this show, it is uh, greatest wall we've seen. I uh, I've seen also um, Shaolin monks we've seen with you, and uh, I think that's all. Nothing else appeared in this kind of jokes. Also, ah, oh, this hotel too, and uh, s massages too. Interesting, interesting. Yes, so we've we've seen new new things. I've seen it is. 100% because I have never ever seen before like a traveling show in English and in Russian I've seen them when I was kind of t till 12 years old I was watching them but after no and it's interesting I'm right now 22 and uh, kind of new world opens to me through these shows maybe we'll watch one more episode if you are interested in please let me know in the comment section below it was really good to see you with you and uh, recommend your own shows to see and uh, have a wonderful day and improve self daily open your mind to yourself and jump from your well and uh, try new things see you next time you're a cool person don't forget about it bye bye